It was 2008, Uncle Vin's birthday. My mom, dad, and Uncle Derek were all waiting for him to come home from work, planning a small party. He was supposed to clock out by 6 p.m., so they gathered in our house, ready to celebrate. But as the hours passed, they started to grow anxious. Where was Uncle Vin? My dad, working in our garage, kept one eye on the road, waiting for his silhouette to appear. Then, just as my dad was welding in the open garage, he saw something, Uncle Vin, or at least his silhouette. He didn't look at him directly, but caught his shape walking by in his far peripheral vision. There was the familiar blue work uniform. Relief washed over him. Uncle Vin was finally home. But he kept working, figuring the party would start soon enough. At the same moment, my Uncle Derek, who was in the backyard, noticed Uncle Vin too. He saw him through the window, heading straight into his room. Excited, he rushed inside to greet him. But when he opened the door, the room was empty. No Uncle Vin, no sound of footsteps. He looked around, checked behind the door, even called his name. Nothing. That's when the unease began to creep in. Uncle Derek rushed to my parents and told them what happened. My dad didn't believe it at first. He saw Uncle Vin walk by, right? But they went room to room, calling his name, looking everywhere. And yet, there was no sign of him. The air in the house felt different, heavier. What had they both seen? And why wasn't Uncle Vin there? Frightened by the strange encounter, my dad and Uncle Derek drove to Vin's workplace. They needed to find him. When they got there, his manager said Uncle Vin had already clocked out hours ago and went out for a drink with friends. They shrugged it off, thinking he was safe. But at 10 p.m., when Uncle Vin finally walked through the door, he was covered in blood. The story he told was terrifying. A bar fight, near-death moments, but all they could think of was, what did we see back at the house? A ghost? His soul? Or something else entirely?